Fiancé and in-laws upset I won't take spoiled niece to Disney World. So my, 29 female, fiancé, 31 male, has three sisters. The one I will be talking about today is Nancy. Nancy has a daughter, Sally, 4 female, who is extremely spoiled. Like you tell this kid no, she will start bawling, crying, throw herself to the floor. Just full on tantrum. Then when she gets what she wants she goes back to normal and will get upset if you are upset at her for throwing a tantrum. Now I have been planning a mini vacation to Disney World with my kid sister, 12 female, and nephew, 9 male, for months now. I have a well-paying career in the medical field and wanted to take them since they've never been. The rooms are booked with them sharing a room but having their own separate beds, with me and my fiancé in the room right next to them. We are scheduled to leave in a week. Today, my mother-in-law and Nancy sit me down to say how it isn't fair that Sally isn't going to Disney World with her aunt and cousin-in-law. How she should NT miss out on the experience. I tell her, in order to avoid a fight, that maybe next time as everything has been booked without a way to add anyone. I also add that my nephew and sister are still young but at the age I don't have to hold their hand to eat, use the bathroom, shower, etc. My mother-in-law then says, family sacrifices for family. At that point I see that they've already made up their mind that they're going to try to force guilt us to bring Sally. So then I reply saying that if Sally is going to come then fiancé will have to book her tickets, stay with her in her room, the rooms I booked are the resort, Disney character rooms, and be the one to take care of her. Mother-in-law immediately argued against it saying that he doesn't know how to take care of young kids. That since I was joining the family I should want to bring Sally. I told her it's a vacation. Why would I bring a child that's notoriously known for misbehaving, throwing tantrums, and breaking down when told no? Nancy started yelling at me that her child is well behaved, that they can't afford to take her so it's our responsibility. I then told mother-in-law and Nancy that the whole point of me and fiancé being dinks, dual income no kids, is that we can spend our time and money however we want or don't want to. After some more arguing they left. When fiancé got back from work we talked about what his sister and mother-in-law said. Fiancé told me that he wouldn't even take Sally if they threatened to disown him. He said that she is too much for him to handle and that Nancy even talks to him about how much she regrets having Sally. And that's on top of the price of tickets and the fact that it will be a week out of state and essentially across the country. I need advice on if that was the best way to handle it and if there it anyway we can make it up to Sally but on a less extravagant way. Sally was not there for the discussion. I do feel bad for Sally as it's very visible that nobody, adult or kid, really wants to be around her due to her behavior. I don't want to take her because I want to enjoy my time and I know for a fact that will not happen with Sally there. Too long did not read. Sister-in-law and mother-in-law tried to bully me into taking Sill's daughter to Disney World. The daughter is poorly behaved where not even her mom wants to be by her. Personally I just ignore Sill and Mill. They can make demands till the cows come home, but at the end of the day they're not the ones paying for Sally to go. They're not the ones dealing with Sally's tantrums. Your trip was not intended for Sally to go. Sill has some mighty nerve to insist you pay for her daughter to attend a trip that she wasn't invited to. Why would you want to ruin your own trip? Bad behavior should not be rewarded, you're fully in the right for not taking her. Maybe Nancy should work on making sure this behavior is nipped before Sally gets much older. So then I reply saying that if Sally is going to come. This is where you went wrong, but also your fiancé should have dealt with all of this, you need to learn to put him in the firing line. As a mother of a now 7-year-old, I personally would not have wanted anyone including family to take my then 4-year-old to another state to go to freaking Disney World. At 4? Without his mom or dad? If something were to happen? Nope. Red flags with Nancy to be honest. She needs to get a grip and raise her child right. Her behavior is probably due to parental neglect, do they even give her any attention? Ignoring her because she's being a brat is a good way to give her anger issues, anxiety, and depression, and no way to learn about emotional regulation. Her parents are failing her. No is a complete sentence. Just don't engage. Enjoy your sibling trip. Why anyone would think it appropriate to inflict another child on you stymies? Nancy is just pissed she's not getting rid of Sally for a few days. I didn't even read that whole diatribe but you already sound like an asshole. 
have some patience. Not the I have patience because I'm in the medical field, up your own ass kind of way. The child is four, four. It also sounds like she is going to be in your life. So be an influence and help. 